But I probably should try killing KQ at least. Ever tried a uh, PlayStation 2 Ratchet? Yeah, of course, dude. Dude, I grew up with all the ga like it's the I don't live in a bubble, dude. I grew up with Crash with Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, all those games. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful. No, I'm just like you, man. Don't worry. Oh, this might work. I like it. There we go. Yeah, that's a, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it, Head Sprouter. Like, I feel like it's a pretty chill boss. Like, yes, you can die like pretty quickly if you're not paying attention, but as long as you're paying attention, it's not like it's not like you're like fucking prayer flicking every every enemy. It's not like you're big braining every enemy interaction like in the Colosseum or something, you know? It's definitely a lot more chill than that. Oh fuck! It's okay. But yeah, after I finish like kind of a baby Vorkath grind, go for 50 kills at least. I'm gonna keep doing quests and try to unlock tormented demons. Try to go for like tears of Guthix or whatever the quest is while Guthix sleeps and unlock tormented demons. That's like kind of my next like mini questing goal with the account. Then after that, probably like Desert Treasure 2, I think. I still. Pardon me, I still don't even have um, Mage Arena completed. I need to go knock that out maybe tonight or something if I get bored of Vorkath. Need that... Need that juicy Mage Cape. You guys don't you don't like tormented demons? They I, I don't know cuz I haven't like watched much gameplay of them. They just seem to chill to me. I don't know. I guess maybe they're not. You guys hear the fire truck? What's up, Niall? Thanks for the good luck. Yeah, someone send the fire truck to put out this fire ass run. Boom. What's up, Troy? Thanks for the good luck.
I'm your favorite streamer. Thanks, Niall. Enjoy the run, everybody. So far, we're off to a pretty strong start here. Let's see if we can lock in, get a decent artisans. I was really banking on the gem RNG from that green to be better than it was. The sloppy movement required it. Losing like two, three seconds here. stream I don't like you know tying my hair up and stuff occasionally I'll do like the ponytail but that's on like that's if I'm feeling really hipster if I'm feeling like a real neck beard you know put on my transition glasses you know square transition lenses and a ponytail metal band t-shirt and some jeans and a belt like a nice dad watch Rate the fit. What's up, Tommy Chestnut? Thank you for the two months, and thank you for the good luck. Yeah, there you go. Dress up the fucking neckbeard look with a turtleneck and loafers and a ponytail transition lenses. That's actually a vibe. That's like some wine tasting fucking type type beat. Thank you for the good luck family guy. You think I missed a green? Well, we'll see if you're right. Next time, keep it to yourself, Rolf. Wolf. You've been watching some of my marathon runs and I have a nice stage presence, dude. Thank you, family guy. Yeah, you're not him, Rolf. Like, you might be right. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, um, don't tell me. Like, just keep it to yourself. Deal? Oh, 
I am playing this very safe here. Miss that, epic. Losing time. time there. That's okay, though. Not that bad. Wow, that was close. Really should do the better strat there. That's okay. We'll look at that another day. 99, 100. Looks like I got all the gems in the home world. We'll be able to double check when we enter uh, Night Flight. How exactly do I get the dog to die without uh, having to flame him twice? Yes, it is a fail safe. It is exactly that. Um, by flaming him, once he jumps at you for the first time, you flame him out of the air so he jumps again. And so the game thinks he like went out of bounds or something, so it auto kills him. Similar to when he jumps off an, a ledge, which I also do. All right, let's see the gem count. 1,000, yep, we have all the gems. Let it be known that Rolf was wrong and almost threw this run off the rails. Keep it to yourself next time. Even if you're right, keep it to yourself. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Look, Rolf, now everyone's mad at you and shit. You could have just kept it to yourself. <laughs> it's okay, I don't blame you. I know the feeling of watching a Spyro speedrun and like, oh fuck, I think he missed a gem. Keep it to yourself, all right? Keep it to yourself. Rolf over here crying like like you said like you didn't bring it on yourself. Come on, bro. Wipe the tears off and enjoy the run. You're good. Bro paid membership. He might have been gifted for starters. You don't know that he paid for that. Second of all, um, just because someone paid money to me doesn't mean they're like exempt from. You know, being a, being a nuisance. I appreciate all of you guys. I appreciate Rolf, and I appreciate people who don't throw any money to me at all. You guys are all equally loved here. I want you to know that. Equality. Thanks for the good luck, Soros. Yeah, we love you, Rolf. You're good. You're just getting made fun of like crazy right now. But that's okay. You know, it's all good. Arrow Trident, thank you for the Prime. Yo, Smoked Rabbit. 
I don't know. Wait, what do I say to that? Yes? Yes, world record today. Confirmed. There you go. What's up, Otis? Love you too, man. time loss there. I've, ne I've never done that. I've never only collected one gem there. <laughs> That's like a first for me. Gotta be losing at least five seconds here. At least. Not great. Under the splits, it says world record is 120.38 by me, so I was just wondering who's me. You thought. D wow. You really made me read that message. Alright, let's have a good cliff town here. What's up, Holographic? Thank you for the good luck. Really, damn, that brought back 10 seconds on record. Very nice, Clifftown, man. That might be a real gold. Yeah, that's a relatively new route, Whale.
Oop. Nice turn. Congrats, Michael. And good luck on your speedrunning journey through this game. Make sure you record your runs and submit them to the leaderboards. Or else I will find you. I'm just kidding. I think I got it. What's the leaderboard for Spyro? Speedrun.com slash Spyro1. Yeah, there's like two to three hundred runs on there, runners on there for this category. June cell. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Thanks for showing me off. Trying to do shit new. Let me play it safe here. Yeah. It's fine. Whatever. I'm losing a few seconds in there, but whatever. We'll live. I failed you, Squid and Piggy. I failed you guys. I'm just kidding. See you later, Jintoki. Let's see if I can get the strats here correct. Some dumb movement here. Like I said, probably losing a few seconds. Not surprised. 
What's up, Pobs? How do I get my controller inputs on the screen? I use, um, hold on. I'll explain on the balloonist. No, I don't use a Musia or a Munia. Um, those are probably the first things you'll find if you look up like console input display. I use uh, the Retro Spy firmware. So if you type exclamation point input display, all one word in the chat, uh, there'll be a link to a how to article. But basically, I used a splice controller extension cable plugged into an Arduino with the Retro Spy firmware, loaded up onto it with the Retro Spy software on my computer. So that way it's plugged into both my computer and the console at the same time. Hopefully that explains it. And if it didn't explain it, just check out the, the link in the in the chat. So this level was a little sloppy in uh, record, so we'll see if uh, I can save time here. Dude, thank you for the kind words, Keegs. I love you, man. It just requires a capture card as blank and splitters. Sloppy, but whatever. Really? Where's the flame? Where is it? Oh, Jesus, dude. That's so bad. I totally flamed it. Oh. Not a good time to miss a flame. Ah, <sighs> thank you for the uh, YouTube membership, Bailey. Welcome. Appreciate you. Really should have saved time here. I am not going to be. I'm going to be losing time here now. Also, I'm going to be sparksless exiting this level. I should probably... I'll just grab the sparks in the home world, I guess. Though the safe bet would be to grab the one right here. Mm. I'm going to hope that I get the one in the home world. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray and hope for that one. Ugh. 
No. That bonk is going to have serious implications on the spider cycles later. As well as this platform cycle. I'm going to still YOLO it. Pray for me. Okay, good. Spiders did not fuck me over. What's up, Pops? How are the runs going today? The runs are going great. Welcome. This is my first run of the day. I've been mostly practicing today so far. Probably losing a little time there. No, saving a second. I'll take it. Keeping it together. Sorry to see me down. It's all right. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for watching. No need to cry yet. This run can still world record. Let's not get too sad yet. Watch me fuck this up. Okay, we're good. Remember, guys, if I am less than 10 seconds behind going into the final level, the final level of the game, I can world record. I lost 11 seconds in the last level of the game. This is world record pace. We just gotta get there first. <laughs> Easy.
Whew. You casually 100% in this game not too long ago. You were still skill issuing so bad on some of the supercharged ramps. You can't remember the name of the level, but there's one in particular that gave you so much grief. You're talking about treetops. It's okay, you're not alone. Everyone struggled with that level as a kid. Unpopular opinion, you don't like flying levels? I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. They're pretty they're basically glorified auto scrollers in the speedrun. Alright. I like them because they're a nice break from the action. But as a viewer, I can understand where they're probably a little boring. Especially the way I play them. I play them like pretty safely, you know. Probably not going to catch the cycle here. No. It's okay, though. second or two there. I don't know, saving a second or two, actually. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the camera was struggling to keep up in that level. You're right. Yeah, you can save like a second or two in the flight levels. It's a thing. No, what? It's okay. Just need this though. Can't believe that other butterfly didn't home in there. I had that. I, I got too spicy with that movement. It's okay. That, that only loses, like, compared to record, that only lost, like, I want to say three seconds. I mean, that's not good, but whatever. Sucks. Probably not catching the cycle here now. Also down a sparks. I would have really liked that chicken back there. This is gonna be awkward. Yeah, I'm not. I'm barely not catching this cycle because of that missed flame charge there. Unfortunate.
Gotta just sit here and wait. I might try to grab the chicken at the end of this level. Dude, press X. Almost too quick there. I think I was supposed to grab the reds first there. I, I fucked up that recovery. Yeah, losing even more time for that. Whatever, at least uh, I have sparks now, which is nice. But pretty bad terrace split, everybody. Yeah, you're supposed to grab those three reds first and then the chicken, I think. I, I fucked that up. I really didn't even need to grab that chicken. I would have still been green sparks going into bog. On a run like this, I shouldn't have even bothered, honestly. that. What's up, Captain's Pixie? Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, there's still hope. This run isn't, like, dead yet. Uh, that terrace was not great, but, um, we can bring it back. It ain't over till it's over. frog positions. here. Nice. 
nice. That was good. Ludwig, thank you for the prime. 36 months, three fucking years of gems and laughs, man. That was, that's what a sweet message, man. Thank you for being around all these years, dude. Please grab that. Yeah, I mean, just in general, the frog cycles here were definitely suboptimal, like, in every section. So I might not be saving time. But good execution, I'll say. Good recovery movement. Yeah, so I kept it even with record, which is respectable. Like I said, given the frog cycles. Oh my god, he's like way back there. I'm back. Yeah, enemy's not working with me here in Beastmakers so far. Do I set the times between each world man? You're asking about the splits, and I use a foot pedal. Tops. Yeah, this is the level that guy was struggling in that we were talking about earlier. Oh man, that is not good. Did get the red though, which is nice. The plus or minus is how far or ahead the average splits I am. Exclamation point splits in the chat. Specifically in the Twitch chat for a full explanation on how, how it all works. Let's see right there. Come on. Not my cleanest treetop so far. Come on, another missed flame. Pressing the buttons too quick here. Yeah, correct, McCallson. We are kind of bleeding away the lead here, or the whatever the pace, but I mean, we're keeping it together as respectably as possible. If I can get the out of bounds here and uh, have a clean metal head, then we will bring back a lot of time save. This is going to be a real make it or break it level here. That's good.
please just grab the gems, dude. Oh my god. Keep it moving. The Metalhead Out of Bounds is not new. Well, my marathon runs are multiple years old, so... Sure, if we're going by that time frame, then yeah, I guess maybe it's new. But it's, it's a few years. I mean, it's... I don't know. Whatever. However you want to answer that question, go ahead. time save there. Even with a little bit of sloppiness, big time save. Let's keep it up. And welcome, Laura. Fifty-three twenty-seven. Not a bad uh, run. Not a bad run at all. Line could have been better there. You're good, family guy. Enjoy the run. Not a lot of time can be saved in Lofty, but time can be saved here. Run, I think, might be dead at this point. I think you can kiss her and then charge the box and then still catch the uh, door, I think. We'll see. <laughs> I was one frame away from hitting that door. I'm losing so much time for that. World record might be dead. We'll see. We'll see what the damage is. How did that not get a fucking sparks, dude? Ugh. Your boy just threw it. <laughs> I'm just feeling quirked up today. Get up there. Don't choke it. Don't choke it anymore, guys. Don't keep choking it, guys. I love speedrunning. My cringe. How cringe am I? Don't answer that. Six, 
6 out of 10. It's pretty bad. Actually, I don't have to grab the spark too, but I will anyway since it's on route. the damage is. I'm actually curious. I pretty much recovered that as well as I could. I only lost three seconds for missing the door. That's insane. Beautiful. What? I'm going for this. Damn. Losing another three seconds. said the crumble like I'm a fucking breakfast cereal bro just called me a cookie cycle on these dogs.
I don't know, I have a bad feeling about this cannon, y'all. We'll see if the run lives or dies. We're good. Got all scared over nothing. When's my turn hitting the jock two ball strat? I'll talk about that here uh, right now. Um, so I've actually was was discussing um, alternative um, jocks uh, earlier today during my practice session. Right now, my practice is focused on improving ice cavern and toasty strategies, as well as the artisan's homeworld at the end there. So I have enough on my plate at the moment before I start incorporating um, that reroute, which saves two seconds, as well as a possible Days Bagabone strat, which saves three seconds in Jock. Uh, I'm just, I'm waiting for now before I, you know, jump off the deep end in that level after Lofty, you know what I mean? One thing that really scares me about it is it is post Lofty. So it really is in my best interest not to like tempt fate any more than I need to there. But in totality, I could save like five seconds in alternative strategies in that level. That is definitely a, a real, real thing. Just not easy. You're talking about the Vortex thing? Oh, no. Yeah, but that's cool. I saw your clip of that in the Spyro Discord. Good job for doing that, Laura. Proud of you. <laughs> Are you proud of me? Thank you. Let's roll. Really good sparks is there. Give me the red. G Dude. <laughs> Fucking interesting. Good luck, Chocobo. Welcome back. for me. Another make it or break it moment here. We made that.
Game tried to troll me there. All right. Nice. Finally ahead. Let's go. I am going against like a gold jock here, so I gotta, you know, don't <laughs> don't expect the greatness or anything, or do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, Nico, for the super chat. Nice. Like that mushroom. Look at that, man. Saving time on record. Okay, let's not get too excited. Nice, Jock. Man, 109.48 Dreamweavers. Wow. for good luck. No, I have like 10 seconds to save and loot. But don't, I mean, let, don't get too excited. I can throw it in any of these levels here. Like, for real.
I don't know how I didn't take damage there or miss a gem. That was miraculous. Gotta grab the blue. Dude, I tried jumping and I got like cucked weirdly. I don't know what happened there. Losing time here. God, pretty sloppy ending there. I gotta say, but still green. to flame but that was unnecessary thank you detai i'll read that after the run love you Losing time here. I'm going to be a little behind now. But not by much. Ricky, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Wish me luck, everybody. Remember, there is 10 seconds to save on the final split. So just FYI. We're still in this. We gotta get through credit skip first.
Let's go, man. 120 23. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Kind of feeling myself after that one. My God. Oh, man. I need a sip of water after that. Wow. Finally. Getting justice on that fucking last level, man. Look at that time save, man. I fucked that shit in my last run. Bringing it all the way back and then some from what was the deficit? God, let me look real quick. Uh, like 16 seconds behind out of treetops. Whew, man, that was a good run, man. That was so... Fuck. Fuck. That's all I have to say is fuck. That felt great. That felt great, man. Oh my god. Holy fucking guacamole. Give me a sip of water, man. Whew, somebody give me a beer. Beer me. <laughs> oh, the nerves, the shakes. How, how shaky is my hand? That's how shaky my hand is. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Yes. We live for it. We live for these runs, man. We live for it. I love speedrunning. Dude, let, d let's not forget. I was so salty in Haunted Towers. I, I missed the door in Haunted Towers. And I was so salty that I had like a cringy outburst and everything. But man. <laughs> like, it only cost me three seconds with good recovering. That actually blew my mind. And yeah, the rest was history. Man, some really good endgame levels there as well. Lofty went amazing. Jock went amazing. The endgame could have been cleaner. Uh, I think there's a good, like, three seconds in Cove and another three to five seconds in Twilight for sure. But man, wow, what a what a nice what a nice cleanup, you know? Clean up the, the fucking shit out of that old PB. Give me a new one, a fresh one for the books. That 12038 did not stand for long. Felt good, man. Feels good to beat that. 12023. I think the question on everyone's mind, as it always is, 
is, do we keep going? And of course the answer is hell fucking yeah, bro. I don't think this quite counts as a low 120 yet. I don't think it quite counts. Once I get into the one X, zero X's, now we can start putting like, you know, numbers and X's on there with the goal. The 121 X is next, my friends. Shout out barbecue sauce in the chat. Shout out Spyroner for the single shot credit skip. Shout out Flizuki for keeping the community some of best. Anyone else in the chat want to shout out? Shout out Craig for supporting me in my gaming journey. Be my longest time sub and my longest time friend here in this stream. Shout out Jamie for grinding this game a bunch recently. Shout out French Fry Apocalypse for being a ZFG sub. Tasteful. Shout out Cog for spamming the anime emote. Who else wants a shout out? I got you guys. <laughs> I'll thank all the, all the gifters in a sec. <laughs> shout out Scurry. Scurry, you did, Scurry just hit the three year sub. I think that was Scurry. Hit the three year sub during this run. Shout out Scurry. Shout out uh, the Rixer for raiding me right before credit skip. I'm sure that was an exciting raid. Um, yeah, dude. Shout out, I shot Bambi for killing Bambi. <laughs> oh man, let's go chill in Dark Hollow for a minute. Am I gonna do more runs today? That's like a serious question before I like start chugging beers and stuff. I know you guys want me to. Yeah, this was a Nestor skip run. I think of, oh, you know, since you mention it, what's 23 plus 16? That's 39. I officially, oh my God, this is beautiful. I officially realized all of the time save from Nestor skip from my 12041, which did not have Nestor skip. With this run, I've officially realized the Nestor skip time save in my PB. That's huge. That, oh my God, that alone is a huge uh, milestone. I was just arguing with someone the other day about like whether ne Nestor skip is necessary for world record. I think there's an argument to be made now that it is. Whereas, you know, just yesterday it wasn't. That's pretty cool. Cool standards being set here. Wow. Man, that felt good. Yes, Spire. Yeah, is 120%? Is this category finally getting optimized? Gosh, I've been waiting. <laughs> the category wasn't optimized enough before. <laughs> People have been following this category a long time. Can sense my sarcasm. Oh, change the pink text. Okay, I'm on it. I'm on pink text duty. Here, let me just look out at the moon. Where's the moon? Hang out here. Vibe out with the trees. We're changing the pink text. New world record. Woo. Hell yeah, dude. We did that shit. <laughs> Open-tized. <laughs> this run's been open-tized. All right, guys, you know what the deal is? I think, you know what? I'm gonna grab a beer for starters. I'm not gonna grind this game seriously more today. I'm gonna rest on my laurels, you know? I got the I got the PB, okay? Don't worry because I will be right back to the grind tomorrow. In fact, let me make a promise to you guys before I start chugging beers. I'm not gonna get too hungover to get good runs tomorrow. I might drink a little bit, but I'm not, I wanna still keep grinding tomorrow and the following days. I'm gonna be leaving for Missouri in just under a week. So I do want to keep grinding this uh, game until then. I don't want to just like put myself out of commission for another day or two. And also, um, I think I'm just going to post this run without commentary um, on like my main channel or I don't know where, somewhere. Um, just so I don't have to like spend like a d n another day or two offline, like, you know, rendering shit and fucking around with it. This time it should be a lot easier because now my local recording is good, whereas my last records was not. Uh, which reminds me, let me go ahead and uh, turn off this local recording. Bye, local recording. <laughs>